Hello everyone, it's the AWAS. Quick video here on installation of the Emperor Racing Radiator Guard for my 2022 KLX 300. I got a super protected radiator. I'm talking super protected. I'm like, let me keep protecting the bike with the harder riding that I'm doing, at least from my skill level. <laughs> Maybe not for many of you watching, but this uh, will definitely make me feel better that I won't put any holes in my radiator when I'm out there and sticks are hitting me. And I did have actually stick lodged in here uh, from one of the uh, single tracks that I hit. And I was recently in a single track wreck, <laughs> I crashed into a tree. It was raining, it was slippery, I was going straight downhill, had no traction and the bike slid and I hit a tree. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. As you can see here, and um, twisted my handlebars. Hit this really hard. I mean, it's it scratched in really deep, but it did not budge. It did the job. It was a champ, and uh, probably protected this from getting damaged. And also, I bet if I didn't have it, this would have been torn off. So after seeing the quality of this, um, I decided to protect my radiator. Uh, my radiators because the stock guards are these little plastic cheap guys and they don't do much. I mean, I can bend them. I actually had a stick in here and I was thinking, what if it was a little higher? It might have punctured my radiator in the, the middle of the North Georgia mountains. Not good. So I'm going to do the other side. Once you figure it out, it's super easy and it didn't take long to figure it out. I saw another video out there that the guy I think had challenges and uh, I figured out how to avoid those challenges if you go in the right order. So uh, quick video here. This is not sponsored. I paid full price for this. I just love quality products. And if someone makes quality products, I'm going to do a video on it. So here we go. Another Emperor Racing product on the KLX 300. All right. So let's install this Emperor Racing Radiator Guard. I am going to walk through the steps and it should go pretty quick once you figure it out. Actually, not that difficult to figure it out as long as you have the right tools. So let's go through the tools. Now you can imagine everything you see here that comes with the kit is gonna be double. So right now this is the left side, you got a left bracket, uh, directions clearly. And then the screws that come with the kit, think of double of everything you see here. So you got four of these longer ones. These are the ones that will attach the radiator guard into the rubber connections or rubber grommets onto the frame. And this replaces one of the stock bolts, this guy. So you will use that and, I'll, and then there's four of these clearly. Now these will attach the bracket onto the frame itself. Really locks it in place really well. Okay, so we'll go through the steps. These are the tools I used, this four millimeter Allen wrench. And then I've got another Allen wrench. I think this one's a five millimeter Allen wrench with a socket because I needed to attach these two together put that on the end in order to make it long enough, as you'll see in a minute here, to attach uh, the frame. And that's the challenge that one of the installers had. He couldn't quite reach in the space needed. This made it super easy. So what I did was I attached these end to end, put this on the end, and that gave me enough, enough space to work the Allen wrench. It was super easy to install, no issues. First step is easy. You're gonna use an eight, millimeter socket to remove your stock bolts. There's only three of them. I'm gonna remove this and we'll go to step two. All right, so these are the only two screws you really need to remove. The other one was the one that attached the fairing to the bottom. So you already removed that one. As soon as you remove this top one, that's all you need to do to remove this plastic. Now, if you notice, this is shorter. This is the one you wanna keep for later and you're actually gonna install it on the bottom of the new frame, and I'll show that in a minute. So I'm gonna keep this and put this aside. In order to remove the stock one, you just need to pop out these little guys right here. I just got a screwdriver, gently wedged it out, so not too hard. There's one, and as soon as you pop the other one out, there you go, there you go. Just pops right out, that's the old one. Not much protection there, getting rid of that. Now, the next step, it's simple. Remove this one and this one. You, when you read the directions, it says remove the two bolts from the frame. I thought it was these two. That's not, those aren't the ones you wanna remove. Again, 
remove this guy here and this guy here. Now to start making it easy, I went ahead and just attached the double extension here so I can go ahead and work it through. It's easy. These little frames get in the way. If not, or I can, could have shortened it up, but I'm gonna end up using this longer one later, you'll see. As soon as you remove these, these are extra. You could, you'll always save these because these are standard. Uh, the eight millimeter, they go all around the bike for the fairings and such. So I'll just put that aside. And here's the other one. You can see my extras from the other side. Okay, so now, pretty simple. I don't need to move this. I'm actually gonna put the frame on. Okay, but I'm gonna get my tool ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my Allen on the end here. The five millimeter Allen wrench, because now I'm gonna take these. Again, there's four that come with the kit. I have two left, because I already installed the other side. I'm gonna get these. And what I'm gonna do is, as soon as I put the frame on, this will allow me to go through the tight space, which you'll see between the frame to screw that in place. I'll put one in place and then do the rest, but you can see here, when you put the frame on, you gotta go through this hole here in order to tighten it up, to screw it. So that's why I needed that extension. All right, I got that one in place. Just going through here and then going in there. So you can see it makes it easy. Now we wanna leave it loose because you're gonna be moving it up and down. So I got the other screw in place ready to go. So let's see, I'm gonna go in here. Line it up, you can see from the top. I just hand tighten it a little bit. I'm gonna keep it loose and you'll see why that's important. All right, I have both bolts in place, that one and the one at the bottom. Leaving it loose, so I can move it up and down because the next thing I'm gonna do is loosely attach the bracket. It's actually gonna go right here and it's gonna attach to this third one. So I'm gonna remove the stock one. You don't need that because I'm gonna replace this with this one. I put Loctite on there before I, I do that. But to make it easy, what I did first was I'm just gonna loosely attach that right there and uh, with the supplied bolts, which are these two little guys. So that's my next step. All right, I got my Loctite on there and I'm gonna go ahead and I put the first one on. I'm gonna go ahead and just, again, loose. If I can shimmy this around. And then this is where I'm gonna start the tightening process. As soon as I remove this bolt, that's where I'm gonna start tightening. All right, so again, I'm gonna remove the third one here in the back, towards the back of the bike. It's a 10 mil. It's torqued pretty good and that's it. I'm gonna remove that. And once that's removed, I no longer need this bolt. It'll be an extra to add to my collection right here. And then I'm going to apply some Loctite to this guy. And then I'm going to attach that there. And then this is where I'm going to start tightening and I'll reverse order. As soon as this is tight, I'll tighten these up and then I'll tighten this up. Before I actually tighten everything down, I, I, I make sure that everything lines up. It lined up pretty good the first time. I didn't have to shimmy anything, but just to make sure that last bolt can go right through because that's where it's gonna go. And again, what I did was I held on to the shorter screw here. And this is the one that's gonna go here now because if this bolt is too long, like the, the stock one that goes there, it just might bump into the frame of the radiator right there. This is just the right length that you can tighten down the fairing and it's not gonna push against that. Once you tighten this up, then everything kind of goes into place and I just shimmy it around to make sure. And right now it is in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten here and then I'll tighten those two in the back. And actually the way it is right now, I tested it and the fairing, it lines up perfectly with all three bolts here. So we should be good to go. Finished product. Actually, I'm taping this months after installation and I've had a lot of rides and uh, has held up really well. So it's a product that I'm happy with, I'm happy I bought and uh, would recommend it for sure. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like content like this, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.